Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back with another video. And today we have some images for some Studio Series figures that have shown up in uh, some stores outside of the US that some people are going to be really happy about. And some might go, why? <laughs> uh, we also have some uh, looks at some of the vehicles of Rise of the Beasts. And a Super 7 figure is getting a Shattered Glass variant. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. All right, so the first thing I want to take a look at today is these vehicles uh, right here from Rise of the Beasts. They actually finished filming. Uh, already but they're still in peru and we get to take a look a little bit closer at battle trap which is this tow truck right here um some people really wanted to see what these images you know what the vehicles look like it looks like they've been beat up like crazy because when you see optimus here like this one's got a bunch of scuff marks where in comparison i think a couple of other optimus primes that people have uh, found out already or you know don't look as scuffed up as this one does so it looks like they're probably used quite a different quite a bunch of different vehicles during filming uh we also get a look at the interior of bumblebee which is actually cool this is something i like looking at the interior of all the different vehicles that they're using uh when it comes down to uh, Transformers, whether it's live action or, you know, whether it's an animated series, it's just kind of cool to see the interior because, you know, I'd like to see like, okay, some little customization on the inside, like, you know, an Autobot symbol there on the, uh, you know, on the, on the steering wheel and yellow seats. Like those are the kind of things that you would expect, you know, even if the vehicle itself is like whatever they decided for, for that Transformer in car mode or truck mode or whatever. And Bumble Me, of course, is an off-road vehicle specifically for this film. I'm guessing that he ha it has to do with him, you know, having to drive through like Machu Picchu and stuff because getting a car in certain places is rather difficult. Now, everyone has been clamoring on, like, the, obviously this is um, Mirage. Some people want to still call him Jazz. Uh, but, you know, I'm eager to see what the robot mode is going to look like. And the same thing for Nightbird. The other thing that we just got announced today is that Super 7 is releasing a shattered glass version of their Super Cyborg figure. It is an 11-inch figure with very little articulation. Seven points of articulation. I have the Super 7 um, reformatting Megatron, which is a New York Comic Con exclusive. And I'll be quite honest with you, like these figures, they're really large. It's just basically a giant brick. <laughs> uh, that's And they're expensive. They're very, very expensive. $85. It was $75 for the for reformatting Megatron. So inflation obviously has increased the pricing. Super 7 is a little bit too expensive for my taste. But you want to take a look at the interior. There you go. You know, if it, this is something that's up your alley, obviously you're going to go for it. But some people have like positive and some people have negative uh, reactions to Super 7 stuff. But that's just my own personal opinion. The other good news is that Wave 5 of Kingdom is starting to show up in stores. This was actually, uh, this image was actually taken in Eastern Pennsylvania, uh, in Exton, Pennsylvania specifically. And that, I guess, I think that's Eastern Pennsylvania. I could be wrong. Uh, it might be Western Pennsylvania. I could be wrong. The, you know, finding pipes and slammer on the stores is great. I'm sure some people are also trying to find Blaster. In fact, I think Lone Dragon actually found a uh, Blaster as well in his store in Virginia. So if you're hunting, go for it. And it seems there, obviously Jolt is there as well. So, you know, people who are looking for regular Studio Series and, and Studio Series 86 figures, some people are finding a lot more stuff in stores. But being able to find that those last two figures uh, for the deluxes of, of Kingdom is, is a plus. And speaking of finding new Studio Series figures, we have some you know, noteworthy uh, images here found in a Toys R Us in Taiwan. So outside, like I said, outside of the U.S., these Studio Series figures, a B-127, so it's the Cybertron, Cybertronian mode version for Bumblebee, but with the not with the battle mask, but with his regular movie face, and two other Studio Series 86 figures that no one really anticipated them to release this way either. Now, take note that the packaging on these figures is, is for Buzzworthy, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, which in the U.S. is a Target exclusive. 
So if you're hunting for these figures, you're going to have to, you know, order it through Target, um, which, of course, they also found here, the, the Earthrise villains. Um, but Cliff Jumper and Cup. And getting a closer look at them, you know, Earthrise Cliff Jumper here has now been redecoed slightly to be a little bit more cartoon accurate. And if you're looking at the packaging, you're like, okay, he's still got the clear plastic. That's fine. Oh, look at that. They actually made the back of the, uh, the windows blue. And he's got his, you know, cartoon accurate, um, you know, black shoulders and gray legs and, and forearms, which I did the same to my Cliff Jumper. I actually painted him, uh, gave him an Autobot symbol, got Toy Hacks labels uh, so that he would be a little bit better, you know, giving him blue uh, labels on there, which I think look, you know, make the figure look a lot better because it's kind of like the uniform thing for you know, for, for what he has. And he has the moon base one thing, the same thing that Jazz had. Uh, so it's the same backdrop. But a closer look at the figure, he's got, you know, the gray legs, he's got the gray arms, but the paint on the, the windows is, eh, it's okay. And a direct comparison with Earthrise Cliff Jumper. It's, it's kind of, in one way, it's night and day. Like, Earthrise Cliff Jumper is more based on the G1 toy, whereas Buzzworthy 86 is more based on his animation model, which is fine. It, it, here's the problem is that do you, you know, do you, if you already have Earthrise wheel, uh, Cliff Jumper, do you want to paint him or do you want to get the new one? Or are you going to keep the one that you got? It's really up to you. So, personally, if you don't have Earthrise Cliff Jumper, he's a good figure. Definitely get him if you can find him. So, and the fact that they're re-releasing re him is good for collectors who really want to get their hands on an Earthrise uh, Cliff Jumper. And another look at it, this is again where I say like the paint on the on the back of the window being blue instead of black is like, yeah, the Toy Hacks labels kind of fix that a little bit better um, than this did. And, the, and also the, the Toy Hacks labels gave him better taillights, uh, which is, <laughs> you know, really a matter of... Um, you know, personal preference. Um, and again, like looking at the car modes, I think that the Earthrise version looks better in car mode than it does on the Earthrise, on the uh, Buzzworthy one. But it's, a, I don't know, it's like a matter of personal preference. So, but again, it's still great. It's still a great figure. Um, they've given him a more bluish shoulder cannon. So it's kind of like trying to match that animation model, <laughs> but it wasn't really bluish. It was silver. It was just based on like, depending upon your, your TV setup, I'm guessing like from the screenshots that people are getting, it wasn't really blue. It was more silver, but I guess the blue kind of matches. Now, right away, looking at Cup, ah, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed because I have Earthrise uh, Studio Series 86 Cup. And I've been disappointed. This is probably the only studio, one of the one of the few Studio Series eighty six figures that I've been disappointed with because of the color schemes. I like the play pattern that he comes with, the fact that you can kind of take him apart. The face sculpt could be better, but the colors on him felt off. It's like, why did they make the back of this part here black, and it's black on the uh, on on part of his uh, where his neck is, and the tires are black, so it, it kind of doesn't look proper but also the backpack piece here is that same color as uh you know other parts of him so it makes his vehicle mode just not look right so when you get a closer look at both robot modes standing side by side here is the new buzzworthy one and he's got the squiggly line on his chest he's got painted blue eyes which is a real surprise really honestly because the the light piping on on this cup kind of makes him give a an old man appearance like even more old than he should the brighter colors on this studio series it's like they're gonna make me double dip <laughs> they are this is night and day look at the vehicle modes this is night and day like um, this is amazing what a, a, a paint uh, you know what color does what paint does doing the right colors right off the bat this he looks this is the cup that we should have gotten to begin with hundred percent like straight up like with the blue eyes it just looks a lot better with the gray plastic it makes it really fixes a lot of the problems that i had with him you know the face is still on the longer side yes this the the chest itself is very square but the colors are just so much better than this one 
so much better. Mine even has a QC problem on the, the crest of his head. So I'm like, what do I do with this? <laughs> do I do I get another head on him and like do a complete custom, try to make a different figure out of it? I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> you know, because just looking at this particular cup figure is like, ah, they're going to make me double dip. They're going to make me double dip. That's just what it is. Uh, going to have to live with it. But you know something? When you, you, know, you do a better job out of a figure by giving him a better color scheme, you know, sometimes you just got to go for it. And like, that's where I, I'm, I'm torn about this. And I know people are going to be upset about that for the same reasons that I am. Like, this is the cup figure that we should have gotten. So that being said, I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited about these, uh, these Buzzworthy uh, Bumblebee figures? Are you looking forward to that, you know, studio series for Bumblebee? Uh, what do you think of the Rise of the Beast news? And of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I have many more news, discussions, and, re and retrospective videos coming soon down the pipeline. So stay tuned for all of that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.